This is AppTotal. AppTotal helps security teams get full visibility into third-party apps that are connected to their SaaS platforms. We're an API-based app that ties into an organization's SaaS platform directly. We tie into Google Workspace, Microsoft O365, Atlassian, Slack, and Okta. In July, we'll support Salesforce and GitHub. This dashboard here is a 10,000 foot view of all of the applications that are connected to a customer's environment. So from the top left overview section, we call out how many total apps are connected and how many of those we deem to be risky. We give each application a risk score and we'll call out a number of findings on each application. We have over a hundred different particular findings, but we categorize those findings to call out those that are potentially harmful meaning that of our findings, they have the riskiest of them. We'll also call out applications that have not been used in a number of months. It's frequent that individuals will connect an app to their SaaS tenant and forget about it. Um, and those simply remain dormant despite having a live connection and access to that data. We've actually found that over 60% of a customer's environment can be comprised of these dormant applications. Finally, we'll call out applications that are overprivileged. These are apps where we feel their permissions are not necessary given the scope of the app's function. You know, there's some other features here such as our heat map, our top applications that you can filter and organize by different uh, attributes such as a risk or we'll call out users here that have the most applications connected. These are all meant to help you slice and dice your inventory so that you can begin to handle your attack surface and govern it efficiently and effectively. When it comes to how security teams are using this, really it's all about slicing and dicing your inventory. So if we click into these applications that are potentially harmful, here you know we can see there are a number of filters available, right? So let's just clear these out. Let's say I wanna see applications that connect into my Microsoft Exchange. And they have high level permissions. What I'm looking at here is a filtered view of my applications. And this enables me then to either go into applications one by one, or I can take action on the whole of them through our multi-select uh, feature here. But for now, let's just cover what sort of threat intelligence we provide uh, for these third-party applications. So we're going to click up into Backupify. So first, we'll see what is Backupify. It's an automated enterprise backup for Google Workspace and Microsoft 365. Okay. We can see that it's been given a risk score of 7.6. This risk score is based off of the severity of findings down here, which we'll go over, and the level of permissions it has. So we can see that this application has been marked sanctioned, unsanctioned rather. And you know, after reviewing this information in the threat intelligence here, you know, we'll come back and revisit that to make a determination as to whether or not it should be sanctioned or unsanctioned. So this application is enabled across the organization's environment. Otherwise, if it was enabled specifically to um, you know, a subset of users, we would see those users here, but we can see it has access to a number of different services within Microsoft O365, and it has a lot of access across these, right? So we can see account access, broad data access, system access, and many other different levels of access across these services. We can see who it was first authorized by, when it was authorized. Then we can see some of these findings here. So let's just say we need to, you know, look into a particular finding, unmanaged data storage. We can click into that, see what this means here, read up about it. We can look at our recommendations. These are app total specific recommendations. And then if we wanted to indicate that we have and it reviewed this finding, we can mark it as resolved or dismissed. 
Let's mark it as dismissed for now. And here we see it at the bottom. If we wanted to learn more, let's look into this access tab. So we can see the level of permissions that it has, broadly speaking. And then within each service, we can also see the level of permissions here. And then we can see the number of users that are authorized. In this case, again, it's authorized across all users. And we can see what API calls it's making, if any, what IP addresses it's calling from. Additionally, we'll show you login activity here so that you can see who has actually been using the application. And then we'll show you details around the application itself and the publisher. We'll show you any certifications it has. So this is actually SOC 2 certified, which is interesting. And we'll show you some additional findings. You know, where is this being hosted? What does the consent screen actually look like? Based off of this information, we can choose to conduct an end user review. So we could send a message to all users and say, are you using this application? Do you need this? Yes or no? Which in this case, since it's authorized across all users, I would not suggest. But here you can choose to revoke or ban it as well. You know, let's go ahead and stick with the fact that this app is unsanctioned. Based off of that, we would want to revoke or ban this application. And so let's say we like this view and we want to work through this, or we've looked through these applications, we get a sense of our own tolerance of risk levels across apps that connect to um, our exchange and have high level permissions. We can save this view. So let's call this exchange with high permissions. Save it. And then based off of that saved view, we can actually apply policy to that entire um, set of applications. And furthermore, it will you know, affect applications that are going to be connected in the future. So any application that connects to Exchange and has high level permissions, we can set a policy to deal with those. Now, this is a pretty broad characterization. There are a lot of applications here. There's 61 in particular. Um, so it might be more prudent to filter down granularly before saving a view. But for the sake of this demo, let's just go into our policy section to, you know, really understand how we can set a policy. So as you can see, there are a number of policies here. We do uh, suggest out-of-the-box policies. These are all created by us in our demo environment. But if we want to create a policy based off of that view of applications, we can click Create Policy. We'll select that view. I believe I called it Exchange with High Permissions. So what we can say here is I want to be alerted over in-app every time one of these applications is connected. When they are connected, I want to mark it as reviewing, and I'd like to conduct an end user review. I'm not going to notify users because I don't want to send individual slacks, but you could. Additionally, we could mark you know this automated workflow to be revoke or ban if we want. Let's stick with end user review. I'm going to save this policy. You can see it here. And we can turn off the policy whenever we want as well. So then we can come back to our inventory and we can continue to create different views. Let's say we want to see Octa agent pools. There's zero applications here, but we can filter this down by a number of different fields, save a view and set policy. Additionally, 
through this inventory view, you have access not only to all of the applications in your environment, but you have access to search and look up the entire app total inventory. So if there's an application you're curious about, this should pop up. We can see a number of applications. We're just looking at yet another mail merge so that if you saw a request come in or somebody asked you about a particular application, you can come into AppTotal and just search our you know, universe of apps as a whole and then make informed decisions as to how you want to mark that app in your environment.